talking with Renee who is one of only 25 people who will have the privilege of creating and owning a Gunther Works speedster. And he's going to be telling us a little bit about that experience. Thank you for meeting with us. Thank, Thank you, Keen. All right. So my first question is, is since there are only going to be building 25 of these, I would imagine there's a lot of pretty incredible competition to get one. What are some of the qualifications to be able to get an application for one of these? Great question. Um, I've met Peter now who is the founder and uh, president and CEO of Gunther Works. Uh, I met them at the COIL at, uh, oh Lord, it was probably 2017, 2016. Uh, I met them there, saw the car, and I just absolutely fell in love with it. When you first met Peter Nan, where was he at in the design and manufacturing process of the coupe? Uh, they had the, 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 they had what they call, I call a new car. Uh, which was the uh, Gunther Works 400R, and then the Chelsea Gray car, which is the car that I ended up buying, was happened to be at the show. It was 90% ready, and I fell in love with it. And I just said, I want to buy this car. It's available. It was available. And luckily, he says, wow. well, first it wasn't, but I convinced them to buy okay. it. Right? Wow, that's that is that's incredible. I know that car, and it's a beautiful car. So I have to ask because. Those scoops are so amazing. How long did you own it for? What made you decide that you wanted something else? Oh, I had the coupe for a good uh, three to four years, and then th this car was coming out, um, and the demand for gut works obviously uh, skyrocketed, and I said, time to, you know, last Peter said it would be all right for me to uh, sell the car. I had uh, several people really interested in the car. And um, I know that the, the Speedster is going to become, be ready for me in about eight months or so. And go ahead and sell it. And he, he, he gave me the blessing and sold it. Somebody. And uh, if you don't want to answer, that's fair. How much more were you able to sell the coupe than you paid for it? Well, uh, obviously substantially more because, again, it was sold out. Right. Uh, and the wait list to, you know, to to go in, to find a, a donor car, to get it into the Gunther Works facility, you're probably going to look at about the 18 months. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about Gunther Works, if he says, I'm only going to do 50 cars, it's 50 cars. If he says 25 cars, it's 25 cars. It's, he's not going to do 26 or 27 or do favors and, and whatnot. And with these cars, it's hard to get a, uh, a 993 donor. Those prices have been above a hundred thousand so it's a work of art that's the way i look at it a hundred percent is i mean even the regular 993 i think is one of the most beautiful yeah. portions ever made but this is several levels beyond that i mean peter nab just did such a good job of accentuating the original beauty of this car but also keeping it very factory looking and peter is involved in every car he is totally involved in creating the car He's involved in the paint. He's involved in the interior. Uh, he's very involved in, in, in how the car gets uh, built and finished. You know, just, just by the regular gun, just the coupe, I was so blown away. So when I saw this, I remember they released some very early renderings of a silver car, which ended up looking identical to the manufactured car, but I mean, it was just mind blowing. I mean, the design that they gave, these, the speedster hubs and the ducktail spoiler. It's just so beautiful. And I know that they did, um, they gave a lot of individual interior components that were different from the coupe and just everything looks it, unbelievable. This is the number one car in the speedster. Think this is the first, first client to deliver vehicle? Number one, yeah, wow. it's number one of 25. Uh, I had number one of, the, of 50 on the, on the coupes. And then I'll have number one of 75 on the um, on the, on turbo. the turbo. I know they were calling that Project Tornado at the beginning. Do they have a more defined name for that, or? Uh, I, I I just I think uh, everybody's going to just call it Turbo, okay. you know? um, uh, and it's going to be incredible, uh, you know. And you know I, I'm going to 
just kind of give you little teasers, but it'll be over over 750 horses. Jeez. So you've been able to drive, you've owned the Coupe and you've owned the Speedster. How does the experience differ between the two cars? I mean, I know obviously one doesn't have a roof, but it's probably more two within the past. The biggest difference with this car is just the performance is, in my opinion, from the Chelsea grade, the very first car, to now it's just, uh, it's just night and day. Really? So they must have refined the drivetrain quite a bit. The drivetrain is, and, and a little bit more on the tweaking of the suspension, is uh, totally um, uh, just incredibly big difference from from the num the Chelsea Grey Card to number one of fifty okay. coupes. Now it's my understanding there's no roof, there's no roof option. You never put anything over your head, and there's also no heater air conditioning. Is that right? Uh, there's no heater. There's uh, there is electric. There's AC in there. Okay. It's electric. Um, yes, but it's just a uh, open air California car. The, the nice thing again about this car is I could be doing 80 miles an hour on the highway and still be talking to you like we're talking to Oh, you. really? It's the, the air, I don't know. The air management, the airflow air management. Air flow is, you know, that's a 964 uh, windshield. Okay. So it's a little bit rate lower, mm -hmm. so it helps bring the air above you. Uh, and he continuously uh, kept on tweaking to get, get it quiet. So. Tell me a little bit about the process that you go through in choosing your colors and materials. Yeah, so Peter and I sat down and um, I told him, I said, let's 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 do something in the um, uh, in a green tone. My nine five nine is a book green, so we we sat down and I said, uh, that's a gorgeous car. I, I'm more uh, of a nice subtle look, you know, not too flashy. I don't like bright colors, and uh, so we worked with different greens and. Probably on the fifth, sixth, somewhere around there, uh, go around. We settled on uh, this oak green, but he says, I'm not going to do oak green. I'm going to add some more either uh, 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 metallic to it to lighten it up. Uh, and if you put this right next to the 959, which is a Porsche oak green, you can see this is a lighter. Yeah, it's almost like this is a, just just a, a tiny, tiny hint of maybe gold to it. Exactly. Yeah, there's gold. That. When you have it out in the sun, it's that it, that gold pops on it. There's there's that metallic gold pops, and it just you know just so much brighter, and you see that. So you had five meetings with him just to select the exterior color. No, absolutely had more meetings, but on on the on the paint on the exterior, yeah, we had I mean, I'd say back and forth. Five. He sent me um, paint swatches and so forth. Like he actually mailed you mail. Fed yeah, mail yeah, made okay. FedEx the color to me, and um, yeah, and then we finally said, decided on it. From the paint, we bled into the interior and the and the wheels. You know, this all um, uh, basically, you know, with Peter's, you know, eye on what looks the best and. Uh, to be honest with you, in the interior, the only thing I told Peter said, I, because I'm in Texas, I want it to be Alcantara leather. And because with leather, the heat and all that, I said, you know, Alcantara would be a lot easier. And the rest, I have to say, it was all Peter and I. Okay. Okay. So. so the ghost driving here, is it a shade different or is it the same color that's a different luster? It's uh, same color, different, right, different luster. Different luster, okay. okay. And like, if you were to, to, to run your hand over, would it be completely smooth, or would you feel the stripes? Oh, you would feel. You would. You don't feel it. You, you feel, feel it, right? Hand, so you can feel it. Okay, gotcha. Okay, yeah. So it's like a. It's, it's, a, it's like a satin yeah. finish. Yeah. All right, and then is the yellow a specific color? Signal yellow. Signal yellow. yellow. Okay. But that was Peter's, you know, because again, he said I need something to, you know, pop out. He's got to pop. So this color is this is jade tree green, Jim. and this is the only thing in the world that's this color. I guess. It'll be the only yes. It'll be the only Gunther in this color. Tell me about uh, Gunther Works delivery experience when you received the car. With the delivery process of, of Gunther Works, it's it's a it's an event. Um, well, one being the number one car, obviously we unveiled it uh, during a. Um, uh, a, a party for Lutkegold. We and I didn't. I didn't see it. He had it all wrapped up. He wouldn't let me take a peek at it, and we unveiled it then. But the next day, um, that was a Friday night uh, uh, gathering, and then the next day, 
uh, went back to the headquarters. Car was sitting in front and in the, in the showroom, and we go through the whole delivery process, the delivery explaining everything, um, you know, the colors explaining, you know, how all the um, cupboards, uh, uh, the, the glove box, everything, you, you know, works and all. Incredible lunch, <laughs> incredible lunch, and uh, uh, Peter cooked. And, oh really? Oh yeah. What do you think? Uh, he had a variety of YU steaks. Wow. And I said, he actually grilled it himself? He grilled it himself. I wouldn't think he would have time He to was, it. yeah, no, he said, this is, it's, this is, you know, special. That's the way we do it. And he, he says, I'm not bringing the chef. I'm doing it myself. Wow. And, that, that and that's how, that's what Peter and I, he is so involved in everything. Does he cook wide you steak for everyone that buys one of his cars? That I don't know. <laughs> All I have to say is, you know, I would like to think I'm the only one. <laughs> for the donor part for this, do we, did you source that yourself or did Peter? No, I sourced it myself through a um, couple of uh, uh, brokers, wholesalers that, that uh, you know, I've dealt with in the past. It didn't matter how many miles were on it. Okay. As long as it had matching, you know, numbers, the block was still good. So just to give you, this car, the donor in this car paid 35000 which I thought was too high for over a 100,000 mile uh, donor of the car, 993. On the turbo, I paid Right at 100. So was it was it a, a base model coupe for the turbo? Just a 993 yeah, Carrera. Wow, yeah. 100s. Yeah, it's going up. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been able to spend all the time driving just a stock 993? I had a Turbo S. Oh. 993 Turbo S had 1,400 miles on it. When sold it, but it had 1,700 miles. So, yeah, I love it. And then on the track, I got to drive a stock 993 and then drove the um, Gunther Works Coupe on the track. Okay, well that's perfect because I wanted to ask you, how does the experience differ between a stock Magnet 3 and this? It, uh, handling, uh, power, the drivetrain is just night and day. So th uh, that track event, Hammer Fouts was there. And, and uh, we did a few laps on both cars with Tanner. Um, and then he got the, the wheel on both cars and we got to really see how uh, the difference between with a race car driver driving, you know, just a standard stock 993, and then a uh, uh, the, the Gunther Works Coupe. And then Tanner took his uh, GT3, I think it was a 2018 GT3, um, and uh, tracked it, timed it. It was his own car, six feet. And then took the uh, Gunther Works, and the Gunther Works was half a second or a second quicker. Yeah, I remember that. That was you know, very big news. Yeah. The fact that this could beat the, the GT3. Yeah, at the time the current GT3. Yeah. Now it's my understanding that the track width of the front wheels is the exact same as the rear. Yeah. As the real, that's that's so odd. Is that is there a, a notably different driving experience with that? Yes. Yeah. Well, obviously. Handling is uh, and, and traction is, uh, uh, I believe that's one of the, the, the reasons. And obviously the look to make that, the wide hips in the rear and in front, you get that look as well. After receiving this car and driving this car, are there any qualities of this car that surpassed your expectations? The, the biggest part of this, uh, that really surprised me in this car, again, is the, the performance. I've driven turbos, I've driven 959 turbos, the sequential turbos, right? So once you step on it, it just keeps pulling. This car, from a natural aspirated car, when you step on it and you go through the gears, it just keeps pulling you, pulling you. And I was just, I mean, if I drove something like this, it would just be such an overwhelming psychological factor of knowing, because it's <laughs> not just that it's valuable, it's just that it's so rare too. I mean, it's. Well, you know, you look at the, and again, I, I've got that uh, 959, and um, that one makes me a little nervous because it's such a, you know, three times the price of, you know, of, of this car, so you always, but you gotta enjoy these cars. Yeah, and, and I don't know what it is, because like, that, I mean, the 959s is probably one of the most incredible cars ever made, but there's just something about this car. There's something about, you know, these other works cars, they're just, 
I think they're just more beautiful than the 959s. They're, they're more soulful. That's exactly it. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, it's so organic when you drive it. it, it it's so, uh, people don't r realize when you're driving a, a new Porsche with all the technology that's built into it. I don't have traction control on this, but yet it handles better than the cars with traction control. When this is parked next to your 959, the 959 is one of the most incredible cars ever made. But when it's parked next to it, it's just, you barely look at the 959. Just, this just draws you in with those curves and those, those really wide wheelbarrows, uh, the colors, the shapes, all of the details. It's just so, and it's incredible. It's incredible how Peter packed so many details into this body, but kept it looking so simple and has such a nice, organic flow from front to rear, but he's done so much with it. That guy's got so much passion and not the, you know, the speeds, the 25 speedster, but every speedster that he delivers. He says it's, it's got my name on it, so I need to make sure right. every car is perfect the way I want it, it to be. And, and uh, you know, he does take some time. Yeah, I mean, even the coups, the coups are, are absolutely incredible. They're, this is the speed surger. He definitely took everything to a whole new level with this car. On this car, he did a few other things that just bespoke special to me. Like uh, the center diamond, he did it in rose gold mm -hmm. rather than just a aluminum look. You know, he did rose gold around it. I didn't even know about it. And he said, Well, if you don't want it, I can always change it. And I looked at it and said, Oh, that is great. When he's, you know, finalizing the car, he had gone to the last stages of production. He sees little things that he wants, if it was for him, that he would put on the car, and, and that's what he that's what he does. Um, always, always available. But he wants to know if there's anything that goes wrong with the car. That that way, on the future, he can, he can make sure they inspect that. Would you mind giving us a tour of the vehicle and pointing out all the special features? Sure. All all right. Let's do it. Uh, so these are carbon fiber wheels. Again, uh, manufactured. Uh, Peter's other company, Horseliner, but it's specifically for Gunther Works. But the thing about I was never really sold on carbon fiber wheels until I picked that whole wheel up. And I'm thinking, I'm using two hands in my, you know, hips and every, I mean, just pulling up and I, you can pick it up without the tire, obviously. Pick it up with one, one hand, it's so much, wow. so much lighter and obviously uh, pretty, pretty strong. Cool. And then, uh, so as we move back here, on the rear end, you've got, uh, uh, LED lighting uh, again, special exhaust tips that uh, Peter uses that are um, uh, made in house as well. Also special. Oh, it goes all the way up yeah, for you. Right. Powerful struts and everything. Right. So with the uh, uh, Rod Sport motor engine, and then I was telling you about the JRC um, suspension mm. right there. Okay. So. You see all the, if you can, you know, if you see it, but you get the dials to dial it in, right? Manually. But with the new ones, they're all electronic. You can get, get to t uh, uh, tune your suspension bait on that. All right. And Again, it's matching. The, the block is from the original. Um, this was a 95. Uh, so it's matching numbers still. And then uh, Rod's, Rod Sport builds the uh, components that go with the block. And is this leather here? Yes. The interior, my biggest, my request is to go with uh, Alcantara, right? Uh, again, in Texas with the heat, this is uh, help. But uh, as far as the the color and everything, that was, uh, I have to give that, take all the credit goes to Peter. He picked all this out. He picked the accents with the, the, uh, the yellow and so forth. We put Gentry uh, is on the uh, door still. And the one thing he did special, like I mentioned it to you earlier, is we did the, uh, this, not we, Peter surprised me with the rose gold on the center dial. And this will be the only car that has that. Wow. So, so are all five dials completely unique to Gunther Works? Or are they, they factory? It's factory. Okay. It's factory. Except the center dial, which uh, he, uh, everything else is factory. Center dial is um, a factory, but enhanced with the, the Gunther Works logos okay. and so on. So it looks like you've got a few different shades here. 
you've got sort of a grayish green here. And then, uh, do you know what this is called? The, again, no, that's okay. all either. And then you've got kind of a more of like a like an olive, olive, olive yeah, here. Yeah, it's like a sequoia olive green. Okay, you know. And the shifter is the shifter like billet aluminum. Mm -hmm. It's aluminum shifter. Right? And it's the same for the door handle door and the uh, side yeah. view mirror. And then, of course, you want to see the keys. Oh, love to see the keys. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, and I know you were saying that there's a lot of various kind of hidden storage. Sure, components. sure, sure. You have a nice little storage here. Oh, wow. Where you know we can put in this belt, you know, we can put whatever, <laughs> you know, nice little storage there. Wow, I mean, just yeah. all of the meticulous detail, yeah, that goes the, around utilizing the space for that. Yes, yeah, so utilizing space Incredible. as well. And then, of course, we can do the bond here. You can look at that. Again, we continue on with the, the green leather, where you got the carbon fiber. And everything else is... Documentation and... The maintenance book from, from hmm, Gunther. You know, the track suspension settings. You know, you got... I mean, he's got everything. Headlights, you mean? Right, it's, it's an LED. LED with a G. Circle a G logo in the center. See if you look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. And then, you know, let me point out one last thing. Um, I think you need to feeder. These are all CNC milled in-house. Okay. Uh, side view mirrors that, again, um, uh, a design of, of feeder. And it does look perfect for the Speedster. How's the visibility with these? With the... Uh, it takes, you know, uh, getting used to because the glass is... Uh, um a little uh well smaller but it it's it's fine once you get used to it you know or your sidelines and all that and everything's it's not an issue that's so cool all right well thank you so much for uh, sitting down with me and, and giving us a tour of this incredible car